Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I'm back and we're going to be making the New Year's Eve dips and we're going to start with our first one. The first one is going to be the classic, I'm sure you've heard of it, just the Velveeta and I did get a small one of these so I'll probably add milk to make it extra creamy and to give my more um, and just a can of Rotel, just whatever kind of Rotel you like. And then we're gonna put in there hot turkey sausage. You can use regular sausage, you can use not hot, you can use, honestly, sausage, you can even use ground beef or ground chicken or ground turkey. It doesn't have to be sausage, but it tastes, the, the sausage flavor kind of gives it a really good flavor. So that's all that we're gonna use in this first dip. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna brown the turkey sausage and we'll get started there. So browning the turkey, hot turkey sausage right now. Then next we have another pan out because we're gonna start the spinach dip. You can do spinach artichoke, we just do spinach. So I have two bags because as you guys know, this wilts down to absolutely nothing. But we got fresh spinach and then you can use fresh garlic, which I have, or I got this from Dollar Tree and you can get this from any grocery store. This is kind of the easy way out. It's already minced garlic and it's perfect. So we're gonna saute the spinach with the garlic, get that sauteed, and then we can get all of this stuff put in the crock pot. We have the three trio burner crock pot, and so we're gonna get this one started. Okay, so we have our spinach in here with olive oil, and then Kai's adding a big old scoop of garlic. We're gonna add it there, that's good. <laughs> that's a lot, but it's gonna be good. Um, so there we go, and we're gonna get this sauteing. Got it on medium right now. As you guys know, this wilts down quick. Okay, so this is my tri-pot crock pot. I have it on high just to get it nice and warm. And I have the sausage right here. I'm gonna pour that in. Just pour all of it in. Ooh, I'm gonna make a mess. Hold on, Next, I'll be right back. put in your can of Rotel. Just put in the whole can. And then your block of Velveeta. Again, I got a eight, eight ounce block of Velveeta. Hoping it's gonna be enough. And if it's not enough, guys, you can add, cause these are small, as you can see, it just has the sausage, tomatoes. These are small dip size um, crock pots. So I think this is gonna be enough. If not, again, you can add milk or you can add like shredded cheese, but that's all that's going in this one. And I'm gonna push that down a little bit and then put the top on there and okay, get it so going. I'm starting on the rotisserie chicken. So a day ago I went to the, well, I ordered Instacart. And so you can do canned chicken if you want, you can boil some chicken breast and use that, whatever kind of chicken you want, just shred it up, just picking it out. I have this in the refrigerator, so I'm just breaking it up into little pieces of chicken. And this, we're, this is gonna make our buffalo chicken dip, which has hot sauce and ranch and everything. And I always get this from Dollar Tree, the smaller one, which is gonna be perfect for the amount that we're making for this. So I'm just gonna keep breaking up the chicken one and I will show you how we put that one together. Buffalo chicken dip. And also to look this recipe up, it's just called Frank's Red Hot's Buffalo Chicken Dip. And it's really easy. You do a half a cup of hot sauce, half a cup of ranch, two cups of chicken, and then a eight ounce bar of the cream cheese. Okay, you can go ahead and put that in there. And I always add cheese. There's so many variations of this dip, but I add, um, cheddar cheese and again these all these dips you can make and bake them in the oven I do them on this just for like holidays and stuff to keep it warm but you can make it nicely baked with the cheese on top but again I just do it like this because I have this thing right here and it works perfect in these so, and this was a small rotisserie chicken so I'm just gonna use everything that it came with because cash loves this everyone this is a crop. So she's doing, we're doing the half a cup of hot sauce. Yum, yum, yum. And then we're gonna do a half a cup. I got the buttermilk uh, ranch. Again, use store brand. It honestly doesn't matter. We don't normally eat this, but we will put it in the dip. Add the half a cup of ranch, clean that out, and then we're gonna mix it real quick. And the recipe doesn't call for this cheddar cheese, but I've made it before that a recipe did call for cheddar cheese, so I'm gonna add this into it as well. So I decided to add in some of the mild cheddar. I just did about almost half a bag, but not really half a bag. So just sprinkled until it looked right and go with that. And I'm gonna mix it up and then we're gonna get started on the spinach. Okay, so the spinach is done. Now with the spinach, we had spinach, garlic, salt, pepper, and I added some crushed red pepper to give it a little, little spice. Uh, so we're about to add this to the crock pot. And once again, all of these dips you can bake in the oven, probably are supposed to be baked in the oven, but 
I do them like this every New Year's or every football season. I like to do them in the tri crock pot. Just to let you guys know, you can do this in the oven. Right now, sorry, the spinach, the garlic, and stuff like that in there. And then Kai's about to put a half a cup of sour cream. See if we can get it out. We do have a spatula. Oh, you, yeah, you could do it that way. <laughs> Push it down. There you go. See if it works. Whoop. So that's a half a cup of sour cream. And we can get the rest out of cream cheese. Throw that baby in. Y'all, I love cream cheese. Whoop. It's okay. Just push it to the side. And then a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. We're going to use what we have left in this shred. So a half a cup. Yeah, that's fine. It's probably a little, a little bit more, but it's okay. Um, and then we're going to do one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. And this mozzarella cheese that we got by Kraft, it has like a touch of Philadelphia cream cheese, which is even good. It melts better. So not the whole two ounces, one and a half. We're going to start adding that in there. And then we'll be back. mixing it. So you just mix it. After you dump everything in there, mix it together and kind of put the cream cheese towards the bottom so it can melt and just let them sit. And again, if you're doing this in your oven, bake it. Um, I'm kind of just winging these, but I will put a link in the description of the recipes that I'm kind of going off of. But again, you guys know me. I don't stick to a recipe. I kind of just, I've done this before. And the crock pot, you kind of do it differently than if you were going to do it in the oven. Um, but you can make this in the oven and put like cheese on the top and let it bake. Oh, it's so good in the oven. Um, but this is going to be sitting out for us just to dip, 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 dip. We love it. And then you can taste it once it starts melting and see if you need to add salt and pepper. Because again, or if you want more red pepper flakes, you can just taste it and go, go with it. And see if you need to add more cheese, just whatever your family likes. So this is what we have and I'll show you them off on high, but put them down once the cream cheese starts melting, put them down on low just so they can keep warm and simmer. But you can add some parsley to the top of this, some more cheese, again, taste it. This is definitely a crowd pleaser. I know it doesn't look appetizing, but it's so good. I'm gonna put the top back on that and then we're gonna check on the velvet with Rotel and the sausage. Look how yummy that is. This is gonna be amazing, y'all. This stuff is so yummy. And that cheese ended up, look, at look, that's plenty of cheese. The little eight ounce for this little container. I think these measurements were perfect for this trio thing. So they're all going. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to show you guys our New Year's Eve setup. We have this sparkling grape juice. We have the Osti, which is champagne. We got our champagne glasses here to toast to the new year, 2021, y'all. I have all these things. These were from Target Dollar Spot. Of course, these little containers are from Dollar Tree. And then the sparkling plates, which are so cute. Those are from Dollar Tree. These little forks and things, Dollar Tree as well. We got our little crowns we're gonna wear. Uh, a couple of 2021 glasses. These actually light up. These are from Target Dollar Spot. So they light up. I pulled the tab off. Kai, do you know how to, oh, you gotta turn them on. They light up so cute. And it might, and then they do different, and then you can just leave them like that. We have these two little poppers and we have the new years and then we have a disco one that kaya has over there so you can these are also from the target dollar spot it says new year these little confetti poppers will do that right when it turns the new year i got these from dollar tree we have some candies that we got from i believe tj maxx yes these they're little ropes they're so good the best ones are the strawberry ones right here so good we have our cheesecake factory cheesecake and I got these um, candles from Dollar Tree. I love these candles at Dollar Tree. They're shimmery and shiny. Look at those babies. They're so pretty. I have strawberry and blueberry to top, or we have chocolate or caramel, whichever anyone wants. And then we have our Cheesecake Factory box here. This is what it came in. But yes, I will show you our dips also. So just our little setup. Let's see, put these on. These are so cute. I'm a we have a little setup to take pictures. We got the little selfie stick. Not selfie stick, y'all. What is it? A ring light. Ring light. Got 2021. I got these from Target, the Target dollar spot. I love getting stuff. Of course, stuff we have there. Kai and Michelle. And we're also so making the jumbo sausage links with the potato hot dog rolls. 
And then these are the chicken sausage. Uh, these are so good, y'all. The Delilah's, oh, they're amazing. So we're gonna have these with the peppers and onions and then chips Here we have our dip. chips and dip. I have our little spoons for all of them, but we got Fritos, Tostitos, and then I have my spinach dip, chicken buffalo dip, the Frank's Red Hot Dip, and this is the Velveeta Cheese and Hot Turkey Sausage Dip. So good, and they're so easy. And look, you just put them on warm now because they're all the way cooked and have a good old time. We and are doing our annual vision boards on New Year's Eve evening. Kai and I are just gonna do them today. We have a lot of different things. The only thing that we're missing, we don't have our magazines this year, like the year before and the year before, because we moved and we got rid of all the magazines that we cut up because we wasn't gonna move them. So <laughs> we have a bunch of stickers and then we'll just write out the goals. I got these Sharpies when Kroger had a sale. These were $2. For these in Dollar Tree sells these one for a dollar. So I got this whole pack for two dollars, and then I have this one as well. These are the thin writing ones. These were two dollars as well. Again, that was a, such a good deal. That was like after school. But I have these little butterflies to decorate our boards. So Dollar Tree sells this. You get four poster boards. Um, the boys don't ever do this with us, y'all. And Cash is at work right now. I have to go get him and. Heyman is not actually going to be with us for New Year's. He um he is not with us for New Year's. He is with his dad, actually. So, you know, you kind of got to share sometimes. <laughs> but it's going to be me, Kaya, and Cash this year. And Stella, Bella, and Ella. They're all here. Yes, ma'am. Do you want to do a vision board? But Cayman will be home in a couple days. And we'll get to celebrate then. Um, so, yes. Okay. So, but me and Kai are going to get started with this. Like we have stickers for goals for 2021 to travel. It's a course. Look at this. I put this on every year to go to Paris. Um, but yes, I'll let you guys see. I'm going to flip the camera around and we're just going to sit here and have fun doing this until we got to go get cash from good old work. I know he was busy because he works at a pizza place. So I know they were busy tonight. Um, he gets off at nine. So we still have time to bring in the new year, eat our food, and enjoy everything. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna do our vision boards, and I'll probably have this sped up, speed up, however you say it, um, while we get to making these. We kinda need to put a bear down on. Um, let's see. Oh, and we could do, like, well, I, we can start decorating the outside, like, with, you know, butterflies and stuff. If you want, yeah, let's decorate and then we can leave. What can we do? We're gonna do like, or we could do 2021. I was thinking, cause these have gold foil in them. Oh, but this one doesn't have the numbers. That was right. We're gonna have to do 2021. If there's two of these, that's gonna be the question. And I thought I had one of these that was gold. Um, so cute and yeah you can put it off of it like that like have the wings going off the sides that's so cute and you can switch up the ones these butterflies look scary i like the, the normal what because it has the little tails on it no like the other one they just look so scary oh those are so pretty the light pink those are pretty many ones mm.
this is our finished um, vision boards. I did a couple this year. I did personal goals, family goals, business goals, and lifted, listed some things there. And then this is the one that I always do. We didn't have magazines this year, so this is what we went with. This is Kaya's up here. This is mine, and this one is mine. They're both mine. Hopefully, we can mark some of these things off in 2021, but these are the end results. I encourage y'all to do it. It's so much fun. <laughs> oh, <it's> happy New Year! <laughs> oh, Thank you.